This is Jason with MaxAmps.com and this is your how-to video on how to set up a memory position, charge and discharge with the Hyperion EOS 1420i DC power charger. As you can tell already in here and see, we've got ourselves hooked up to a 12 volt DC power source. Otherwise, if you don't have this, you're gonna have to use it like a 12 volt car battery. Now for demonstration purposes, this charger, as you can see, has two balance tap adapter boards. So in essence, it has actually two balancers built into it with one charge lead. What this means is you can either charge two smaller packs at the same time, like we have sitting here, two three cell 5250s, or you can charge up to one big 14 cell pack at one time. So, what we're gonna do for this demonstration is actually take these two three cell 5250s and hook them together in series with this series connection and charge these two packs as if they were one single 6S pack at 22.2 volts. So to start out with, let's go over how to set up the memory position for a 6S 5250 pack and then we'll go through the rest of the procedure. So first of all, Press enter, select which memory position you want to use. We're going to use number one right off the bat. If you hit enter, you'll notice that model memory position starts to flash. Use your up and down arrows. You can change that to one, two, all the way up to 20. We're going to start at one. Once you're there, press the down arrow. That's going to give you your battery type. We want LiPo. We're dealing with LiPos. Use your up and down arrows. Get that to LiPo setting. Once you're there, Press down again, you're gonna to go to your pack voltage and cell count. Hit enter, get those numbers flashing, use your arrows, change that to 22.2 volts, 6S. Once you've got that done, press down. You wanna set your pack capacity. We're dealing with a 5250 milliamp pack. This charger goes in 100 milliamp increments, so you wanna set for 5300. Go to the next highest one to ensure that the pack gets fully charged. Once that is set, move down again. You're gonna be automatically set at this point, once you set the capacity to 5,300 milliamps, to a 1C charge rate of 5.3 amps on the charger already. You don't have to change that. We're just gonna do a 1C rate. Down again, and you're gonna be at your cutoff temperature. If you're using the add-on temperature sensor, set the charger to 120 degrees. It's about the max you wanna ever see a LiPo get. Once that's set, hit down again. You're gonna go into your safety timer setting. Any LiPo pack charged at a 1C rate from empty to full is gonna generally take 80 to 90 minutes for a full balance charge. Set your safety timer to about 120 minutes. It's about as long as you ever wanna let the charger run. Okay, press down again. You're gonna to go to TCS capacity. Set it to 100% if it isn't already. You want the packs fully charged to 100%, no less. Go down again, and that's gonna be your end action. Your end action, you want the charger to continue. By continuing, what it does is when you reach the end of the charge cycle, the charger will stop charging, but what it will do is hold the voltage of the pack until you shut down the sequence and end it. Once that's finished, Go to the next setting, that is your TVC setting. Leave that at 4.2 volts. That setting does not ever need to be changed. You want your cells to be charged 4.2 volts, no more, no less. Go to the next setting, that is your discharge amps. Comes out of the box set at five amps. It's a good place to start, you can leave it. It's a nice, easy, steady discharge rate for your packs if you have to do any discharging. Once that one's done, move on to the next setting. That is your per cell voltage cutoff. That needs to be set uh, out of the box. They come at 3.0 volts. I usually go 3.2 volts per cell as a little safety cushion. Hit the enter button, get that flashing, press up, bump it up a couple. Once that is set, press down, it takes you back to your main screen. Okay, so we've got the model memory position set up and ready to deal with a 6S 5250 pack. Now remember, for those of you that are dealing with, say, a larger 8-cell, uh, 9-cell, 10-cell, 11-cell, 12-cell, all the way up to a 14-cell pack that this thing can handle, you're only going to be using the one plug and your pack will then have two separate balance taps coming off of it 
to deal with the amount of cells you've got. So the reason for these actually being split up into two separate balancers is because right now there is no uh, balance tap plug that's bigger than seven cells. Uh, so what that means is you're going to have to have seven cells maxed out on one and the other seven cells in the pack on the other. Or 2.6S or 2.5S, you know, and so on. What you're going to need, because we're going to deal with this as a 6S5250 rather than a 3-cell 5250, is a series connector. We sell these at MaxAmps.com in the wires and connectors section. It's simply called a series connector with Traxxas plugs on this one. Uh, at this point, just connect this into your charge lead. And what this does is puts the two packs in series. So basically, we're gonna take one pack and the other pack. Let's do it like this. We're gonna plug the one in. Make sure you're red to red, black to black there. And on your other one, make sure that your positive and negative line up on the plugs. You have got now have that connected in series as a 6S pack. What you're going to want to do is you have port A and port B on the balance boards. Take first pack, it really doesn't matter in a case like this, um, plug it in, into your 3S port on the first board, take the second board and plug that into the 3S port. So in essence what it's doing now is reading 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this is a 6S 5250. We've already got this set up on our memory position that we just previously set up. So now what you want to do at this point then is just press and hold enter. It's going to start you into your charge screen. It says charge start solo mode. We're charging this as a single pack. 6S 5250 at 22.2 .2 volts. So once you're there, press and hold enter again. Goes through the battery check and it's going to do your cell verification. It's asking, is a 6 cell? pack hooked up to this. With the use of our series connector, yes, we have a 6-cell pack hooked up. Hit enter. Your charge process will start. The charger's going to work. It's going to top these off. Once it's done, you'll hear the alarm sound. Press and hold enter. Shut the sequence off. Now that's how you charge either multiple packs or a single pack with the Hyperion EOS 1420i DC charger. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, you may have to discharge the packs. If you have to discharge them, it's relatively simple. You're still hooked up. Nothing's changed there. We're still programmed for the same packs. Go back, press and hold enter. Your charge sequence screen comes up again. Use your arrows and press until you come to where it says discharge start. Now remember when you set up the model memory position, you set the cutoff voltage to 3.2 volts per cell. Okay, press and hold enter. Now it's verifying that you have a six cell pack hooked up, which we do because we've got them hooked in series. Hit enter again. It's now going to start discharging the packs and it will take them down to 3.2 volts per cell. Once there, the alarm's gonna sound again. You're gonna press and hold enter and shut it off. Now, that's how you basically do a discharge with either multiple packs or a single pack with the Hyperion 1420i DC charger. For more information on this charger and others, visit maxamps.com.